This here's Mary Jane. She's gonna be my partner in some destruction. So I'm gonna come and kick your ass, bitches. Just let them bring it on. So you wanna call me pussy? Let them call me pussy. They'll find out. This has been grueling, non-based, and they still demand stuff that is just totally insane. Those are the stuff dreams are made of for sure. I like the feeling of a beat up car. There's no such thing as taking this thing too far. And national championships will be a star. You better watch out for me. My machine is gonna bring affliction. Serving my demolition to be addiction. So when I put my key in the ignition, you better watch out for me. Cause I'm a crazy crash addict. You better watch out for me. Guess we're just a bunch of crazy bastards chasing the National Derby Championship. A lot could happen in here. We were pretty cocky. Woo! Team Bram's chasing the National Championship. First derbies in Lindsay, and we want to kick some ass. Just let them bring it on. You know, they want to call me pussy, let them call me pussy. They'll find out. How many pussies that you see that would take out a driver's seat with no floor and keep going? Or to go down on the highway at 70 mile an hour on a two by four. Now, is that a pussy? When we get there, we'll find out who's a pussy and who's not. Uh. Hello, Derby fans. This is Richard back at you. This is a 92 Pontiac Grand Am. I, I prefer the Pontiac cars. These cars seem to really take a beating. I'm hoping Lindsay's gonna be fun. I'm pretty impressed with this car. I think we've got a really good chance of being a contender there. Well, Lindsay, um, nobody's gonna know me. I'm just gonna be uh, that tall guy eh, with a freaky mustache. <laughs> comes in and friggin' destroys everybody. This here's Mary Jane. She's gonna be my partner in some destruction. Look the f out, cause I'm gonna come and kick your ass, bitches. Come put it to your moms. It's a rush, man. You gotta get two cars, bump yeah. each other. Two weeks to go, Team Sweetly's ready to go out and smash some shit up. I think we'll just do a little bit of racing. Well, I'm gonna see if Gary's willing to put up a bottle of whiskey against a case of beer. We'll bump into each other a bit. I thought I'm planning on bumping into them anyways. Okay, how many laps? Just two laps? I predict I should come in first. And Miller's the first one down. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kick ass. <laughs> okay, who's saying go? <laughs> that race, hands down. Who was that? Who was that? Big Tom! That's the backyard! That is a, that is, that is a big no. A big no. <laughs> That's right, you guys should be kicking them runs in. Yeah, we're gonna sit around the fire and drink a bottle on uh, Tom. That's good stuff. I, got, I gotta go, I got some work to do. He tore my lawn up. So we're gonna uh, help him out with his doors. We can give him some well, we can't holes. Hold, we can't we're gonna give him some speed holes. <laughs> It'd be my pleasure, because he tore up my lawn. That's right. Oh, that's a good speed hole. Tom's gonna love us for that. Um, 
name's Jamie Birmingham, 23. This is this is my baby. Well, my derby car. I was kind of skeptical when I was starting to gear her up. I didn't think it had the girth or the mustard. But uh, I think it's gonna do well. We're going to uh, get the car broken in by jumping it off the laneway to make sure it passes a berm stamp of approval. Oh, I'm excited to have out the berm. He's a kick some ass. Yeah, that was some primo shit. Oh crap. I tried to get more speed, she just didn't have the mustard. Wasn't expecting the uh, sun and drop at the end of her, but... Blew the axle out and... I can't get another car and I don't have time to fix it. I screwed up this time, I screwed up. Crash addicts. What a rush! Hey, Nate, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Mom. Took a huge hit, just like I got shot in the balls. Axle broke. I hate that sound. This could be the end of the Berminator. So we took the car to White Hot's Richard Layton's to see if I can repair it. It all starts at the junkyard. We pick out a car, we bring it home, and according to the Derby regulations, all glass must be removed. Um, doors should be welded, chained, or bolted shut. Take out anything that's gonna burn inside. Gas tanks have to be shielded. Fire extinguishers are installed. You gotta play it safe. Here you go, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the hell I don't get glass slivers up my ass when I drive right out of there. <laughs> that'll, be a very, that'll be a bummer for sure. Three days to Lindsay. Crest Nation time is over. Time to get her going. I am moral support, and I'm like demolition expert. So I'll smash everything. He gets to watch. Kids at home, mom and dad would love it if you did this to their cars. Well, I'd like to uh, introduce my daughter, Samantha Layton. Prying it off with their hands. Yeah, I got gloves. There we go. Good enough. And that is it right there. Demolition tech, baby. Demolition tech. That's awesome. Hey. Okay. Well, we're going to go over to Uncle Lady. See some cars. The hot mobile. Eddie said just walk across. Pick her what you want. So I'll show you a few cars that I have. This one here. Just gotta get another tire for it. And we got this little Clemson. My brother's in the hospital. I might not be able to make the first one because he has open heart surgery maybe. We'll know tomorrow or Tuesday if he has to have that operation or not. Nurse said that they have to operate. So she said it's major. She like 19, 1975, he was in a bad accident. 
we almost lost him then. And then now, can't say that we're gonna lose him, but it's a possible chance. I have to be focused on what I gotta do and my work, my family, and, and it hurts. But other than that, if once he gets okay, I'm out to uh, all force. Is this the beach, Jamie? Yeah. yeah this is the... Let's the car, man. Just, uh, set fastening down the battery case. But we might as well have, like, a friggin' Lansdowne pit. Yeah. Well, everybody being uh, yeah, together in the same yeah. area? For sure. Yeah. For sure, because the more we can, you know, the, the better resources we have in one site to keep, keep all the cars going. You know, I guess sometimes, I guess we work together and we'll help each other out in the pit, but it's chaos in the ring and it is every man for himself. You gotta prep the cars, but getting them to the event's the whole different story. off my girlfriend's Friday. No, you could bang the nuts off her. Uh, your girlfriend doesn't have nuts, does she? <laughs> no, I mean, I could bang... Okay, you're gonna bang my... your nuts off. Okay. Yeah, bang my nuts off. <laughs> All right, well, uh... <laughs> um, what were we talking about? The boys are on the last touches. Gonna finish up the car that's gonna win first place right here. Gary's on the job. This is gonna be the meanest car we've ever had, Gary. Oh, for sure. Oh, I'm only car. gonna get meaner too. Oh, totally, totally. Yeah, Nathan, my mind's. Yeah, we got Nathan. We got Nathan on the job here. We're gonna make some strong. Yeah. Cars. Yeah. Yeah. The red knight will prevail. Oh yeah. No doubt. Hey Joe. You got that welder right handy? And the rules state that we're allowed to have a safety beam for the driver in case of driver door impacts. Solid steel, no bigger than three inch. Oh, that's perfect. Are you up there? Oh, that's exactly the spot. Look at that, eh, bang? <laughs> for the final touch of the car. Nice fit. Hey. Yeah. Woo! Damn locally here, a legend, and show them what Team Ruminator is all about. And kick some serious ass. And this isn't just a pretty face. This is underneath the flesh and bones. It's like a wildfire burning out of control. And then it's just gonna blow right at them. But they're gonna be kissing my bumpers and I'm gonna be crashing some shit up. We're out in Lansdowne and Stitchless Farm. It's Friday, the Derby's tomorrow. And I still got a shit pile of little things to do. Yeah, prepping the car is a lot of little detail work. Get this one ready, I bet you I got you got close to 100 hours in it. Yeah, I gotta go over to Richard's here later on and uh, clean out the van and give it an oil change, get a tire on it. Oh no, I'll be ready. Gary, I don't know what he's up to. I, he was supposed to be out here this week to, uh, he wanted to borrow my van, 
to, uh, to install his uh, derby car and trailer to Lindsay. There's probably a good six hours of steady work on that vehicle to be done before it even sees the road. And uh, I think he's left it to the last minute, five o'clock Friday night, and he's still not here. I think he's beat. Went there last night, fixed it up, got it ready to go. Had to listen to Richard for a little bit, but you know. Guess what time it is? 10 to 8, Saturday morning. There's supposed to be other drivers and trucks. We're supposed to be on the road by 8 o'clock. And, uh, you know, other people aren't ready. It is Saturday morning. Procrastination is over. It's time. They want me to rush down the 401, possibly speed, wipe out, kill some f***ing little family in a four-cylinder Honda and crush them with my rig. This has been grueling, non-paced, and they still demand stuff that is just totally insane. And at 42 years of age, I'm done babysitting. I've changed diapers. Kaka, pee pee, done it. I'm pissed, upset, Used feeling. Well, I bet you this won't get aired on TV. Good morning. Good morning, Gary. We had an ETA. I'm on schedule. I'm sitting in my truck waiting to leave. So right. you Listen, and... I'm, I'm heading in from Lanza right now. I'll meet you in the Canadian Tire parking lot in like 15 That's minutes. That's beautiful by me. Don't kill yourself. Don't pet yourself. How's the van? Uh, it, man. Yeah, you knew it would be. It's a champ, man. I know. So, uh, great then. I'm glad you're all set. I'm good. And uh, see you, Canadian Tire Pal. Yeah, okay, bud. L later. Lindsay is uh, an icon. It is uh, Derby capital of Ontario. Just want to let you folks know, here we go. Tonight at the Lindsay Derby, we got trucks, big cars, and mini cars. We've got Richard, Berminator, and Miller coming up in the minis. Need the big cars lined up along the rail, right behind the minis, ready to roll. My name's Elsie Dowdle, and I'm the announcer for the Demolition Derby. The boys come from all over, and they put on a real good show. They're the stars of the ring. Putting the final uh, touches to it to help it uh... Out the wheels. Look at that. This is the fastest track in the whole circuit. It moves. It's going to be some big f hits in here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Birmingham, Jamie. Three cars. Little car four. The mini cars are four cylinder. I call them mud puppies. Richard and Miller, they're in heat one. And the Berminator is in heat two. Top three drivers from each heat goes to the feature. I forgot my top and battery and cable. I gotta try to hunt down Richard so I can use his drill to tap in the steel. If you don't pass the safety inspection, you're out of the game. I'm waiting for inspection. Inspection, then I'm good to go. Right here, sir. We're gonna go through the rules quickly. When you come up to the gate, okay, we're checking for uh, seat belts, chin straps, covers on your gas tank, fire extinguisher, and brakes. The flags, green flag obviously means go. Red flag, when you see the red flag, you hear the siren, you need to stop exactly where you are. Okay, this is one of the only tracks left with the logs. This is one of the largest tracks in Ontario. We've made it actually 20 feet longer than normal. Okay, thanks for coming out, we really appreciate it. Richard! 
Richard Leighton out again. Okay, that is number four, our little lady driver, Nicole Turner out of Gravenhurst. I took the championship last year, 05 at Woodbridge, took first place, and it was my birthday to boot. Okay, countdown, let's go. This is a mini heat. Need to hear you all. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good countdown. Back them up easy, boys. Easy, easy. That's it. Nice, gently, gently. We don't want to crush the bun yet. Look at those 13 awesome mini cars. Right down to my dog, Penny. You can, oh, here we go. Come on, Richard. Richard Leighton out again. He's moving and cruising. Come on, Gary Miller. Gary's right on the go. They're going strong. Wind him up and let him go. Gray's over the far side warning somebody, don't hit the driver's door. Big warning. Woo-hoo! Up and over. Go! Oh! Where's my touch of class? They're checking Richard for the butt end. Come on, Richard! Get her going! Get her going, Richard! Oh, Richard, you're going to sit and watch. Okay, Richard's out. I had lost both front tires, and the bumper here was dragging in the ground. So basically, that's what stopped me. 13 and a half, Gary Miller out again. Keep her going, Gary. Gary's still on the go. We got 87, 666, and Nicole. Driver on, Nicole, driver on. See you gals take note. That car number four, that's Nicole Turner. Nicole's worked at it for years and loves it. You okay, Nicole? She's, yep. She just gave the signal. She said, I'm all right. Okay, we still got 13 and a half on the go. Gary Miller out again and off way. 87, Andrew Evers out of Aurora. We still got number four and 666. 666, I think he had beans for supper. He's having a little putt putting job problem. Okay, hold her up. Okay, heading for your feature. In first place in this heat was number 87, Andrew Everstone of Aurora. In second place is number 13 and a half, Gary Miller out of Gananoque. In third place is number four, Nicole Turner out of Gravenhurst. I've seen him come once, I moved. Place number two, second, baby. I'm in the finals. I'm just waiting for uh, safety guys now. I want to take a piss. Failed inspection first time. If I don't make it this time, I'm done. I'm not going in the dirty. These boys have come from a long way and they're putting on a show. Everybody's working hard. Oh! Okay, they're just going to bring him out. Going to bring him out easy. 